Okay, issue that arise in this case is uh, what action can take by principal to his uh, agent. A relevant provision from this issue from Contract Act 1950 is Section uh, 169. Explain if an agent without the knowledge of his principal deal in this business of agency on his own account instead of on account of uh, his principal the principal is entitled to claim uh, from the agent any benefit which may have result to him from the transaction okay a relevant case uh, similar and can support my answer is case Andrew vs uh, Ramsey. Okay, the fact uh, this case is the plaintiff appoint uh, the defend his as his agent to sell his property with uh, fifty pound as uh, the commission. The agent sold uh, property and received a uh, hundred uh, pound uh, as deposit. He gave fifty pound to his principal and the consent of the principals keep the other 50 pounds as the commission later plaintiff found the purchaser also gave uh, 20 pound as commission to his agent plaintiff or principal sue to recover the 20 pounds and 50 pounds court decide the plaintiff can recover both of the sums Okay, principal may refuse to pay commission to his agent. The agent has received another commission from the buyer, which is uh, not in the agreement between the principal and the agent. Thus, the principal may not pay the agent and can claim uh, other commission from purchaser received by the agent. Okay, the answer for question 1 is Whether Nazri gets his money back and the cost of repairing the telephone from Harit? For the question 2 uh, The answer is Sales of Goods Act 1957 Section 14 Clause C An implied warranty that a good shall be free from any charge or encumbrance in favour of any third party not declare or known to the buyer before or at the time when the contract is made. For the question 3, we state the case of Roland vs. Diver 1923. The fact is, plaintiff bought a car from the seller and after using it for several months, then, the, then he discovered that it was stolen. He had to return it to true owner. So the court held, defender had breached the implied condition as to title. Therefore, the plaintiff, the plaintiff was allowed to resign the contract and claim for the return at the full price of the car paid to the defendant. Okay, for the question 4, uh, the answer is Nazri deserves his money back with the repair cost he is incurred to repair the telephone from Harit. This is because Harris has sold items that are not his property to the others. Nazri can resign the contract and get the entire cost he incurred from Harris. 